Hello everyone, I am Vladimir Yakovlev, a professional windsurf rider and coach with many years of experience. The training camps of my windsurfing school Magic Wind take place at the world's best windsurfing spots and welcome students from all over the world. Today I will tell you how to jump without waves or do the chop hop. Requirements for this move Flat water or small chop The wind is strong enough to use a small sail and a board with a volume of around 100 liters. And of course, confident planing skills at high speeds. The whole jump can be divided into three stages. First is the push, the second is the flight time, and the third, landing. Gain good speed. Unhook from the harness lines. Your hands remain on the boom in the same position as with normal riding. Start getting ready for the push. Your body should be positioned vertically above the board. Bend your knees and lower your body. In order to shift to a more vertical position above the board and not to hang as you usually do when planing, you have to open the sail slightly. Your body will automatically take the right position. There should be no power in your sail. The more thrust there is, the more you will hang out and your push will be directed sideways. Again, make sure that you're standing vertically when pushing. Then sharply straighten the back leg and push the stern of your board into the water as deep as possible. At the same time, your front foot exerts no pressure on the board. Your sail is unloaded and does not press on the power joint. When you start pushing with back foot, your board's nose should lift up. The more it rises, the higher you will be able to jump. In flight, the nose of your board is lifted up. You then have to bend the back leg so that the board becomes horizontally oriented. Pull up the back leg and at the same time push the board forward with your front foot. In this position, your sail begins to tilt back and you can use the sail as a wing. Hang under the wing. Adding a little thrust in the sail will allow you to increase the flight time and accordingly the height and range of the jump. When you feel that you are descending, you should straighten your back leg and land first on your stern, then the rest of your board. This will help make the landing much softer. Over time, you will want to jump even higher and small chop or wave will help you achieve this. It is better to gauge the chop from a few meters away, looking 5-10 meters ahead of you. When approaching the chop, you have to push the stern with your back foot, so that the front wall of the chop is pushed through and becomes deeper and more vertical. The moment when this needs to be done comes when the nose of your board barely touches the selected chop. At this point, you have to start pushing in order to be on point. If you linger a little bit with pressure on the stern, then you will have already passed the wave. Try to precisely adjust your timing. Let's take a look at the most frequent mistakes. First, your board does not jump up. You yank and tug as hard as you can, but the jump does not happen. Most importantly, make sure that you are standing upright at the moment of the push. There should be no pressure on the sail. No need to help yourself trying to pump the sail with your hands. When you push, it should be done only with your back foot. Do not jump with both legs and do not try to launch your body upwards. Your task, on the contrary, is to hit the stern so that the board first goes down. And then the board will jump up by itself with you and the rest of the rig. You do not need to aim upwards in the jump. The next one is when already in flight, your board catches the water with its nose. It is due to the fact that you have not pressed the stern down enough, the nose of the board has not risen enough, and you're already trying to move into the flight position by bending your legs. Thus, you're lifting the stern higher than the nose of the board. This is when your bow digs in, scooping up water. There is a high probability of getting flung into a catapult in this situation. Therefore, you should never attempt to jump while hooked into the harness lines. Always do it only with hand grip. In this case, the catapult will be softer and safer. And the last serious mistake is when you land in a spin-out and your board immediately slides out from underneath you. 
or you can't keep going and stop right after landing. In this case, try to jump more with the wind. What needs to be done for this? When you make a push at the very beginning of the jump, press a bit harder with your toe, steering the board slightly down the wind. This will help to turn the board downwind by 10-20 degrees, and that in itself is enough for you to land without spin-outs. That's it from me. I hope my advice will help you. If you're struggling with your chop hop or would like to learn other cool moves and tricks, join the Magic Wind Windsurfing School. Subscribe to our channel, leave your likes and comments. See you on the water.